sticks You're bursting a fire burn A thirst and desire You transform it up in a flash You spread your wings to rise from the ashes Phoenix, you burst in a fire burn Good evening and welcome to the follow-on It's the weekend warm-up where we have a bit of an update on where we've been with the season. And if you're a bit of a nerd, you'll enjoy the stats. So with Director of Cricket, Barry Hills. Baz, just give us your update of how you feel the, the uh, season's gone so far. Yeah, so far so good. One's are top of the league. Uh, twos were top of the league till last week when Chert uh, decided to fold their second team and give us a bit of a lesson. Um, got a freeze team in, which was unexpected. So it's all, all going well, really. Um, when did you think we might get a freeze, did you think? Yeah, I was thinking uh, next year, I was thinking a few friendlies this year, but I think entering the league has made availability go up because some people don't want to play friendlies, they want to play league cricket. So this week, I think we've got 37 to choose from. So we're going to be having four on a Saturday with no game of cricket. Brilliant. Well done, Baz. Thanks, mate. Thank you. It's early days, but here's what Div 5 looks like at the moment with us at top. But more importantly, it's the fixtures for the weekend that could be very interesting. With Chillingfold playing Kingsley, third playing second, and Blackheath playing Recklesham fourth and fifth. You'd like to think that if we could get a win this Saturday, there might be some real clear blue sky between us all. Oh, evening, Al. What's evening. Uh, what's your take on the uh, on the season so far for the ones? Um, we had a great start. Uh, four out of four wins um, in forty over cricket uh, last week. A little bit disappointing, to be honest. Um, with it. it was a timed game, and the, the op we put on two hundred and thirty, which was I don't think anyone was going to get on on any day. Um, but they just padded out, which is a bit of a shame because it doesn't, in my mind, it doesn't promote positive cricket. But it's the, it's the game that you got to play. Next week, we just hope that we're. Uh, we'll uh, bowl them out as, as sooner. Yeah, it's all about winning the toss, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. They were always going to bowl. I was going to bowl as well. Um, and unfortunately, uh, they just decided that they couldn't get that 2.30, so we're just going to pad it out. What's your take on Div 5? Is it Has it been noticeably more difficult, do you think? I'll be honest with you, no, not really. Um, what you'll notice is that uh, they'll have an extra... Uh, a bowler who's who's putting it on a on a length etc and putting it in good places. Um, batting's not really been much much different. I don't think we've conceded more than 110. Um, so we've been bowling really well. We've got some great guys in this team now. It's going to be brilliant, and then the seasons to come. Just uh, looking forward to captain in the Phoenix. All right, thanks, Al. Thanks ever so much, mate. Cheers. Here's Div 7, and as you can see, we're just outside promotion in third place. And then our fabulous threes at the bottom in 12th, picking up points, doing a brilliant job. There's interest within these fixtures as well, as the twos are at Tongham at home to Elstead, and then the threes are at home at Friendly Green Rec to Bagshot Lee. Shelford at home to Hazelmere, and one of those obviously having to lose. If we can get a good win on Saturday, we're back in it. So, Yogs, how's the season for you so far in the twos? It's going really well at the moment, yes. So uh, we're about unlucky with a loss last week, but uh, you know we've got three wins, one loss, so you can't be, can't grumble. We're nicely positioned, aren't we, mate? Yeah, yeah. We we got a strong team. Uh, we can we can come good. Uh, I say we can lose two games, still get promoted. So uh, we've got one game in a bag, but let's go and beat everybody else instead. Well done, Yokes. Thank you. Uh, come on, you Phoenix. Ones are away at Fernhurst, and as you can see, Sammy coming in to take the gloves as Sam Warren is away this weekend. Here's the twos looking to bounce back. They're actually playing their game against Elstead at Tongham. Rich Turnbull behind the stumps. Here's the threes at home at Fruny Green Wreck to Badshot Lee. And as you can see behind the stumps, we take your pick really, Mark, Sahil or Sagar. Highest individual scores so far this season has Alan with his 107, then Sam with an 86 and 81, Annie on 58 and Joe on 57. Highest partnership seen Sam Warren and Alan Doyle 182, then Sam and Tom on 100, then Alistair and Annie on 96 and then Alistair and Jinto on 75 not out and then 69 for Sam Warren and Joe Warren. Then finally, the best bowling figures of the season. 7 for 17, our new club record from Charles George. 5 for 17 from Baz. 4 for 23 from Tom. 4 for 24 from Taddy. And 4 from 26. 
for Sandeep. So good luck to all our teams this weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Come on, you Phoenix. Phoenix, you burst in a fire burn. A thirst and desire. You transform it up in a flesh. You spread